ASAP is interoperable with many CAD programs, so you can design some of your complex geometry within your CAD program and then export that information and let ASAP read it indirectly. I'm going to demonstrate this using SOLIDWORKS, which is the CAD program included with some packages of ASAP. So let me close down ASAP first, and I'm going to open up SOLIDWORKS. And you'll notice I've already got a nice little part defined here. Uh, let's assume you were an illumination engineer and you needed to look at the lighting properties of this particular telephone. What I'm going to do is save this as a file that ASAP will recognize. And to make sure that will work on your SOLIDWORKS, if you go to Tools and then Add-ins, you'll notice that there's a little check next to the option that says SOLIDWORKS ASAP Export. Because SOLIDWORKS is installed on the same computer as my ASAP, when I install ASAP, it automatically installed this plugin for SOLIDWORKS, so now I can directly export the files that ASAP will recognize. So let me close this dialog. And to do a file, I'm going to do a Save As. And let's just call this phone. And then as the save as type, what I need to do is come down through the drop down list until I see ASAP asterisk.gtx. I select this as the file type and click on save. It will save the file for me and then I'll be able to open it up in ASAP. All right, now that the part has been saved into for use within ASAP, let me close down SOLIDWORKS and open ASAP back up again. Now what I have saved is a CAD file, so I need to tell ASAP that I'm opening a CAD file, and then ASAP will convert this into a standard ASAP script file. So let me just go to File and Open, and it's taken me to my directory here, and I'm going to select the appropriate part. The other thing you'll need to make sure of is that under Files of Type, you select CAD files, and again, notice the asterisk.gtx file format. Also, you need to make sure that your open mode is set to auto, so ASAP will understand what type of file it's trying to read in. And now I'm just going to click on the open button and let ASAP do the translation. The first dialog box you see allows you to customize some of the import features depending upon the information in your CAD file. The defaults are generally appropriate for most surfaces, so I'm going to just click on the OK button and let ASAP import the file. As we can see, ASAP has imported the part, and I can come down here and scroll around a little bit and just get a little better view of the detail, and everything looks correct. So. What I'm going to do now is, within this file, I can also choose to apply properties and or coatings to the component. And we can look at the drop-down tree. And you'll notice it's made up of several surfaces that came over from SOLIDWORKS. And up here, you'll see the, coding, the titles Coding, Media, and Color. And I can, within this translator, choose now to either on an individual face basis or to the object as a whole apply particular properties. And let me close this down. And by clicking the right mouse button, I have the option to add to my materials database, change the names, or in this case, I'm simply going to modify the optical properties. So if I click on that, for instance, let's assume we wanted this to be a reflective surface. I simply have to apply a coating of reflect. And if this was to be immersed in air, if you will, so air on both sides of the interfaces, I would select Air and Air for the two media. I can also choose to have the whole object colored a particular color or let ASAP choose to color each individual face a separate color. I'm going to choose to make the whole thing orange. So now all I have to do is click on OK. And as you can see, we now have everything orange. It will also show up as orange in all of the ASAP renderings. And at this point in time, if I want to finish up, all I need to do is go File and then Finish. And an ASAP INR script will be created for me from this file. I now have the part available to me in ASAP. And I can perform any analysis, add any other components, and use this as I would any other ASAP script.